Welcome to Sunkiss Gardening today. Um, well, today I am going to be. There's some noisy traffic around here. Sorry. Hopefully the mic kind of mitigates some of that sound. Um, but today I'm going to be moving some of this aloe from this corner. It's one of the more sunny spots in this garden bed, so I really want to try to utilize that sun. And I really like this spot right here because. Um, it casts a shadow during a certain point of the day. So plants that don't like all day full sun will be right here. And the tomato plant is more toward the front because it also, it likes a fair amount of sun. Um, and the shadow won't affect it till later in the day. But it is, it's been so hot that I've kind of just uh, rigged something up temporarily. And yeah, so I'll be moving this aloe Maybe at another point on the property. I'm not sure yet. <sighs> but I am looking forward to the fall. <sighs> One of the best seasons here in Arizona. Fall and winter. Oh my gosh, wow, that's great. Okay. Well, maybe I want it closer. I don't know where I want the wheelbarrow. It's been a long day. Definitely want it closer. Still need space to move around. I have a whole bunch of artichoke heads. I need to gather some seeds. Hopefully. I won't regret throwing the aloe and this in the same wheelbarrow. Probably will, but I'll try to move the aloe quickly from this wheelbarrow. So about three years ago, oh wow, I planted a couple little baby aloes in a pot in the corner. You can't even see the pot anymore because the aloe is just so prolific. Um, let's see. I can see one tiny rim. Okay, I kind of love how this aloe is like spewing out from this pot. It's really cute. And I am wearing gloves because there are scorpions here and aloe can be kind of pokey. All of the above. Ooh, there's an ant colony in here that is not, they are not happy. Oh, sorry guys. That happened when I pruned off the artichoke heads. The ants were just crawling amongst all the stock, like up and down and then sprawling everywhere. They were really mad. I wonder if they utilize um, the artichoke head for like a food source during the winter because that would explain why they were so upset oh my goodness look at how cool this is look at all of these baby aloes off of this one root this is so cool i have to show the camera this this is why i love plants they do really funky cool weird things all those little babies 
And then like this could grow into a giant plant. Wow. I love aloe. Maybe I could eat more aloe. Maybe that's what I do, but I don't know how to harvest. At least not yet. Oh my gosh, these things are just so... This root system is really cool. Oh my goodness. I forgot how little of a pot I put here. And it's sprawled out. What, that's like three feet? A quarter circle? Um, and I'll show, it started at like maybe a foot circle. Insane. Whoops. What? This is kind of awesome. How big this plant is. Oh, I totally, you know what, I'm gonna do something with this aloe this weekend. I have to, I have to do something. I can't just let this beautiful plant go to waste. I need to, what do I do? Do I make like an aloe drink or a body scrub? Because I love to make my own at home products with like different essential oils or I'm not one of like those oil ladies, but I do like essential oils as long as your body doesn't react negatively to said oil. Um, but even like cocoa butter and shea butter and um, beeswax, I love utilizing beeswax with a little bit of like coconut oil or, you know, different oils oh my gosh this is so much more aloe than i thought wow the ants are pissed sorry guys you'll be able to build Ew, there's like stink bugs in here. I saw one and it smells gross. Okay, ants. I'm probably gonna have to take a pause because these ants are getting everywhere. They are not quite getting me yet. They're getting closer. Holy massive stock. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is going to be nice. Oh my God, a red racer. Oh my God. No freaking way. My kids are going to freak out. I have to try to catch this. Oh my gosh. Where did it go? It's in here somewhere. Oh my gosh. Mm. Snake's always giving me the heebie-jeebies. Um, oh, oh my god. Okay, I have to get it. Where did it go? I saw it. I see it. A 
Okay, well, maybe I shouldn't, like, keep destroying its home. Oh no, I'm getting attacked by the ants. This is, oh my god, okay. You know what? <sighs> Damn it. The ants are everywhere. I'm gonna get covered in ants. Oh, I get a bit. Oh my goodness. Okay, little red racers are the cutest little red snakes. <sighs> okay, I'm really happy I saw one. Um, now I feel bad because this is like where it's been residing. not the first time I found a uh, red racer over here um, but having said that I think I need to create like a little structure just some place for the snake to hide if I'm gonna remove all this like hiding space for it I don't know like I don't know enough about snakes and if they're like territorial over their zones or you know, anything of that nature. I have no clue. Like snake psychology. Like I don't I don't know what to call it. Snake behaviors. Um oh my goodness. That had my heart racing. I'm gonna call this video a day. I'm gonna finish cleaning this up and do I'm gonna replant those somewhere and then maybe make blend some up for like a body scrub after I've spent the day in the garden sweltering being eaten alive by ants um oh my god for real though um all right I'll catch you next time